Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite and friendly tech YouTuber, Mr. Ofori here. In this video, I'll be showing you what to do even after Microsoft, I mean, decides to uh, stop supporting Windows 10. So there's there's this news that Microsoft released. Um, it, it is about the whole Windows 10 and Windows 10 Pro where Microsoft will no longer support um, Windows 10 from October 14, 2025. But in this video, if you don't have any option and you still want to use Windows 10, then um, this video is for you because at the end of the video, there's a particular, I mean, software I'm going to take you through that you'll be able to use Windows 10 all right and you'll be able to be getting updates and feature security updates and also some feature updates as well because Microsoft will not be doing that please watch the video to the end and you'll get to know the right software and what to do even after Microsoft stops supporting Windows 10 because you your machine is not um, compatible with Windows 11 are you supposed to what are you supposed to do and that's where the vid this video comes in so over here microsoft is saying that windows 10 support ends on october 14 2025 as a reminder windows 10 will reach the end of support on october 14 2025 at this point at this point technical assistance feature update and security update will no longer i mean be provided if you have devices running on windows 10 we recommend upgrading them to Windows 11. And what if your machine is not compatible? What do you do? Now, this is where this video comes in to help you. A more current, in-service, and, supp and supported Windows release. If device do not meet the technical requirement or run, or, I mean, to run on Windows 11, we recommend that you purchase the extended security update, which is the ESU program, or replace the device with one that supports Windows 11 these are the options that they gave for staying supported on the windows operating system so where they will be giving you updates and all that these are the options they gave they are like you need to install windows 11 you get it so just install windows 11 and what if your machine cannot install that and also they also said you, you see that you get a new machine and the last one is the extended i mean security update which they'll be providing for like a one year so let's say after the end in october they'll be trying to provide a one year um, security extended update whatever where you have to pay by you have to pay it's not free you have to pay for it but this video will give you a free solution to this particular problem from 2015 um 29 july there was a version of microsoft which is which was 1507 and ended on 9th may 2020 2017 and if it continued like that there were different versions came different versions came i mean and all that and then it came to we were using a uh, version 22h2 from somewhere october 18 2022 and now we are we are we are ending it the, this particular version in Oct october 14 2025 why is this happening sometimes this is not microsoft's fault and this is also not your fault this is happening because microsoft decision to end um this is this is actually um a, an independent advisor which is saying that Microsoft decision to end this is actually factual though Microsoft decision to end support for Windows Windows 10 aligns with its standard lifecycle policy for operating systems Windows 10 was originally I mean released in 2015 and Microsoft committed to and Microsoft committed to a 10 year support lifecycle which means support will officially end in Oct on October 14, 2025, after this date. This date. Windows 10 will no longer receive feature updates or whatever. That doesn't, that doesn't mean you cannot use blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So basically, this is because Microsoft has a standard lifecycle policy. And that's the reason why. It's 10 years already. Yeah, it's 10 years. And they have no option than to switch to the new, I mean, Windows. But for... For whether as to whether there will be windows 12 or not microsoft has said nothing about it yet now let's talk about the dangers of staying on on windows 10 pro after microsoft has i mean has officially ended its whatever connection with it so after 14th october what is going to happen to you is that you become i mean you be there, there's going you are going to face security vulnerabilities you're going to face a lot of security vulnerabilities because 
unsupported software is no longer being updated with security patches leaving it vulnerable which which will leave your your laptop or machine in a vulnerable stage to new security threats and also exploit now attackers can exploit these vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access to your system steal sensitive information or launch attacks against i mean other targets and also the second one is lack of support if maybe you encounter problems or have any question about the the windows 10 pro or windows 10 you may not have you may not have anyone to go to or you cannot even go to the manufacturer and sometimes in a way sometimes if they want to i mean attend to you it means you are going to spend a lot of money for that and also the next issue the next uh, danger is that you would definitely face compatibility issues because every software is, every application and software is trying to evolve they are all evolving and they are trying to be be up to standard you get it so whenever they are creating uh, whatever patch or whatever software they are ensuring that it is meeting the current standard so if you keep on staying on windows 10 and 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 maybe there are some changes in some applications you may not be able to run them so you have compatibility issues and also the last one i want to share is poor performance your 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 machine can maybe probably run slow because of some uh, uh, threats some security threats and also sometimes because of some vulnerabilities your machine may perform poorly and that's why you need this video because at the end of the day we are going to solve all this issue in as much as you continue to stay on windows 10 pro or windows 10 you will get your solution from this video now let's talk about the main man and also let's talk about our setup whatever we are going to be doing let's talk about it over here we are talking about zero patch zero patch is the solution to everything but i'll take you through what zero, zero patch is I'll, I'll let you understand what zero patch is and also how to set up in the next chapter but zero patch i mean so before i talk about zero patch software products often i mean uh, contain vulnerabilities that allow attackers to take control of one's computer you understand and usually software vendors provide official fixes for vulnerabilities in their product but sometimes they don't because i mean a product is no longer supported they are not they are no longer connected to that product as i have already explained and there is something called a patch and a patch is a small package with a with a few code instruction that replace a vulnerability a, a vulnerable section or yes a vulnerable section of a code in a running application and a patch therefore fixes vulnerabilities you understand so there's there's something called a patch. it's just like maybe your your shirt is torn you know that small part that you take to the same dress the tailor or whoever the fashion designer for them to patch it for you that's exactly what the patch does so it's a small package that is of like it's, it's a code it's a few code instructions that does that in a running application and because microsoft will discontinue its extended support for windows 10 in october we need an application or a software called zero patch to do that so what is what is behind zero patch zero patch makes it possible to quickly and efficiently provide micro patches for security gaps in software for example in windows 10 in windows 10 what happens is that whenever there is an update you have to fully i mean install it and also run it and sometimes you have to restart your machine but what happens with zero patch is that it relies on a tiny targeted code changes that are inserted direct or injected directly into the memory of a running process and it closes the gap immediately i mean it closes the gap immediately and without the need to restart the system and that's the best thing about zero patch so over here i'll be taking you through the steps on how to install and use zero patch this is a step-by-step -step process and you're not supposed to skip any or forward any part of this video this is very very this part of the video is very very important now the first thing we are going to be doing is to go to the zero patch site and i'm going to provide every link in the description section so when you go to the zero when you visit the zero patch site we need to have an account with them 
to be monitoring whatever we do or whatever update that comes in so um because we don't have an account yet we need to create a new account and we click on create account then we enter our gmail after entering gmail you, you check the box and then you click on register after hitting on register they will send you um they'll send you a gmail which you have to so oh, there's a new mail i have received and i'm opening that good so when you come here you verify your account and you need to just set a new password so i'll be choosing my own password and then you click on set password so over here i'll save my details and then they'll ask you how many computers um need to be protected so you know i have already told you or i've already shared with you what um zero part is going to be doing so what we do is that uh we'll set maybe one to nine just one to nine that's all are you planning to use zero part for mitigation of zero days and all that are you do you need security patches for protection protecting legacy products such as windows 10 so you tick this box and then where did you hear about i mean this 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 is something that so you just ensure that you heard about it from uh you can just say social media i was looking for the youtube option here but you can also yeah you, you need to take the first one also then you just go to continue the moment you hit on continue this is our dashboard and on our dashboard on our dashboard this is actually a windows 11 machine so i'm going to switch to the windows 10 i'm going to switch to the windows 10 and i'm going to log in with this credentials so on, so on windows 10 on my windows 10 you realize that this is my i mean my dashboard and then you click on resources after clicking on resources you click on the zero patch agent for windows okay so the moment you click on that it will download to your whatever location that is is, is supposed to go to and then the next thing is that now you open your file uh, manager and then after opening your file manager um, you navigate to or you go to where your where the zero patch setup went to so mine is here and then you double click on it once you double click on it they'll give you this option you click on next and you click on you allow you agree to the terms and condition then you click on next again so after clicking on next and the the um the application is finally launched and installed the next thing you do is that you sign in with the credentials we formally created or or the, the account we, we formally created you're going to sign in with that account and the first thing you do is you enter your email or your gmail and then your password so i am doing that so after entering your password you hit on sign in and the moment you sign in you get to see the dashboard good so the moment you sign in you get to see the dashboard this is the zero patch um i mean dashboard the best the reason why we are using um zero patch is that zero patch automatically downloads and applies the micro patches so in i mean in the background and there's no manual need for for you to work there's no manual work needed after the setup so basically we are through with our installation we are through with our um, app creation i mean our uh, registration process and also we are through with our getting to understand what um, zero patch will be doing you get it so once it is installed it runs i mean in your background it, or it runs as a background service and also ensure that it fixes so over here you realize that we have a um, 96 application at 86 88 it keeps i mean uh sinking 
so the more it synchronizes the more it gets what application is supposed to be um patched or what application were, were patched you get it so the more it synchronizes the more you get to you get more information about what is happening this is the best part about um the best thing about zero patch and i would recommend you to go for it if you don't have any option if you if your machine is not compatible with the latest um the, the latest windows 11 also if your hard drive and, and and then your machine specifications are not allowing you to switch then i would advise you to go with the zero patch for now so that you don't fall or you don't become a victim of uh, um, security threat and also you don't be, your machine doesn't become vulnerable to attackers yeah so i mean that's the end of um our video thank you very much for watching my video and thank you very much for i mean switching to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like the content so that the algorithm favors me and also don't i mean forget to leave a comment if you think the video was helpful please leave a comment in the comment section thank you so much for switching to my channel